He is one of the world's biggest and best known movie stars. But these days, Brad Pitt is spending as much time helping get films made as acting in them. He is both the star and the producer of the new movie Ad Astra, which opened this weekend. Pat Pitt recently spoke about his various roles with our Jeffrey Brown. It's part of Canvas, our arts and culture series. I do what I do because of my dad. He gave his life for the pursuit of knowledge. The film is called Ad Astra, Latin for the phrase to the stars. And it is about a journey into the far reaches of our solar system. But for the tortured soul at its heart, Major Roy McBride, this journey is also very much inward. Brad Pitt says his friend, director James Gray, pulled him into the role by quoting a line from the man who wrote an earlier mix of space epic and introversion, 2001, A Space Odyssey. Please describe your current emotional state. I'm steady, calm, ready to do my job to the best of my abilities. He pulled out this um, Arthur Clarke quote that said either we're not alone in the universe or we are alone but either outcome is equally terrifying. And that was an, a very interesting starting point. Never thought about, what if we're alone here? Mm. And uh, then what? Is that what this became about for you? It certainly, as far as the genre is concerned, I mean, we're mm. always, we're either fighting aliens to, you know, save ourselves or they're imparting some benevolent wisdom on us. And this idea that, whoa, what if it's, what if, what if we're alone here? Then are we focusing on the right things? Uh, but we have what looks like unidentified rovers approaching our position. Set in what it calls the near future, Ad Astra has its share of fast-paced action, including a car chase on the moon. Alpha, we need backup ASAP. We're being ambushed. And it has more than its share of breathtaking beauty. This is a film to savor on a big screen. But it's mostly concerned with a middle-aged man, Pitts McBride, with a hole at his core, now in search of his lost father, Clifford, played by Tommy Lee Jones, himself a space hero who disappeared 30 years earlier while leading an expedition to Neptune. Clifford, we learn, may be alive. My father's alive, sir? We believe so. And in a further twist, behind a new threat to the Earth. Pitt, who grew up in Springfield, Missouri, son of a man who ran a trucking company, took the father-son issues in the film to heart. We often discussed growing up with this kind of uh, Marlboro Man image of, you know, you don't show weakness. Um, certainly where I grew up, we didn't, you know, you didn't complain. If you, you broke your arm or you're, you cut yourself, you just dealt with it, you move on. And you almost deny it. And, but. Then we've started questioning, well, are we doing the same with our, you know, how we really feel? Is that being cut off, you know? Um, and is there something more to, to look at and embrace here? Would we be better fathers and sons, better partners, better lovers, better friends, you know? If we were more, um, would we, we be more whole? I mean, it's interesting because you get to sort of act it out on screen in a movie. Yeah, I was and saying apply it to your life, it's perhaps? a bit of a luxury what we do because we get to spend months really dissecting that idea. Where I think of my dad who worked, you know, eight to six, five days a week, and then a six day on Saturday, a half a day, he wouldn't have, you know, that kind of luxury. He'd just be tired, you know, yeah. and then have to take the kids out for a baseball game or something. Pitt's performance in Ad Astra is utterly restrained and internalized. So understated, one reviewer wrote, it hardly looks like acting at all. This is Major Roy McBride. I'm attempting to reach Dr. Clifford McBride. And it's very different from his other big film this year in Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. He says it's all about tone. Dad, I'd like to see you again. Tone's that thing that's not understood. Um, yeah, what does it mean? You, well, you could have a script and you could play comedy or you could play horror. It just depends on how you shoot it and how you play the scenes. I mean, it's wide open. And this one, I think this one's gonna be really, really contained and really simple. And the danger in that always is that it's boring and flat. Yeah. And so how do you You know find who did it best? Tony Hopkins in yeah. Remains of the Day. 
Am I to take it that after all the years I have been in this house, you have nothing else to say to me? You have my warmest congratulations. But so how do you do it? I mean, how do you show that much emotion without really showing it? Oh, it's an amazing thing about the camera. It, um, it's like watch when you watch a news report and you're really moved by someone experiencing something in real life time. It's real. And so our job is to interpret whatever the scene is, something that's real for us. And I mean, I could be thinking about something completely different than what's really happening in the scene, but if I'm feeling that, then it reads, um, it's true, and truth reads. Sometimes we say acting means something kind of phony, right? Yeah, I've always objected to that. But you have? Yeah. Because? Because it's the antithesis of that, when it's good. These days, Pitt is as much producer as actor. His Plan B entertainment company produced Ad Astra and has been behind a number of recent acclaimed films, including 12 Years a Slave and Moonlight, movies outside the Megaplex box. In the middle of the world. Why is that important to you? What do you get out of it? I'm storytelling. I'm a kid who always loved films. I love films now. And in that, we get to be a part of stories really beautiful, important, powerful stories that I wouldn't be right as an actor. So um, in that sense, it's, stu it's still storytelling. And I'm really proud of what my partners and I have been able to put out into the world. Are these stories that you think otherwise wouldn't get told? I mean, we look at what's happening with Hollywood. No, it's often the case. You know, they, every film needs some champion behind it to get it, to get it across the finish line, no, no question. You're what, 55? Yeah. Do you feel like you've been building a career on your terms, making it work, or is it something that just happened to you? It's all those things. You know, it's like winning a game show to be let inside the, the doors of a studio it's, and, and given the shot. You still feel that? Um, oh, in the beginning, no question. Mm. I mean, that is, it's like it's hitting a lottery in some way. I think it's different, more talents getting opportunities now with streaming. You know, thank God, but what you see is there's this immense talent and it's been there all along. It's been both. It's been, I've been pushed to do things I didn't feel right about. I did them and I learned, okay, always do the things you do feel right about. And then you find out some work, some don't. So it's all these things. It's, it's by design, yet it's by, by fate and it's by, you know, you know, many, many more factors beyond, beyond me. Brad Pitt takes off to the stars at Astra, now playing nationwide. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Jeffrey Brown in Washington.